It's the headlines. Now, though, they say it's not what you know, it's who you know, and this guy is mm. definitely in the know when it comes to the perfect holiday destination. Yeah, that's kind of right. I mean, I don't always get it right, but this one's a really interesting one for you. If you're looking for somewhere new to go this summer, you know what? Have a look at this. North Macedonia is a landlocked country nestled in the heart of the Balkans. It shares its border with Serbia and Kosovo, Bulgaria, Greece, and Albania. So, you might be thinking, why is North Macedonia not on your holiday radar? And you're not alone, but loads of people know it's a real hidden gem and is about to turn into a tourist hotspot. So, before all that happens, I'm over here on your behalf to show you some of its hidden secrets. I'll be discovering ancient monasteries, sampling some local dishes, and seeing just how far your pound will stretch out here. Five quid. First stop is the UNESCO city of Okrit in the southern western part of North Macedonia, home to Europe's oldest lake and narrow cobblestone streets. The lake is a whopping 134 square miles and it dominates the landscape. The city is fascinating. It's like a living history. The buildings, the medieval walls, and like this fortress. It goes back to 400 BC. Can you get your head around that? And then the backdrop is always the lake. It is absolutely stunning, a brilliant, brilliant place. Samuel's Fortress towers above the city's old town and is a sight not to be missed. Next, I'm heading to this city's ancient amphitheatre. Lupcho hey, is from Ockwood hey. and a local guide. Welcome here. What a place. It is. It's fab. And it's unknown for the world. And welcome here. We have Great ancient theatre here in the middle, in the heart of old part of Ohrid. Actually, until 2000, there were only houses here, but we knew before it was ancient theatre. And then they enjoyed tragedy comedy. Then second century BC, when the Roman conquest Balkans, this became arena, then gladiator oh. fighting. So most people don't know about this. They know very little about Ohrid, they very, know very little about this part of the world. Um, how many tourists are coming here now? Every year, the number of visitors to Ohrid is larger. It's not expensive also, so this is important for the people. They can have more for less. As well as the gorgeous architecture, there is something else you would only find on the streets of Ohrid. It's mysterious. It's beautiful. It's the Ohrid Pearl. Unlike regular pearls, ochre pearls are made from ground-down shells covered in a secret emulsion, a process which takes several hours. The emulsion's ingredients include fish scales, but the rest of the process remains a mystery. Why are they secret? The secret is because uh, is, uh, this type of pearl uh, created only in Ohrid in family Filevi and family Talevi. It's two families who know secret. A secret is in lake because this pearl name is Ohrid pearl. One fish, the small fish, the name is Plashica. The skills of the fish. We take the shine part of the body and create it emulsion. Here inside is secret of pearl. Wow. Only in Ohrid created pearl with this recipe. And, and this nobody, secret. nobody in the world nobody knows this world. recipe but you and yes. your family. Yes, I'm fourth generation in the 100 year old tradition. Wow. Have people tried to steal it? Yes. Yes, I bet they have. Oh my goodness. Didn't I? I mean, I got mates rates. <laughs> 30 miles south of Ockred is the breathtaking St. Norm Monastery. So, Ockred and the surrounding area used to be known as the Jerusalem of the Balkans because there were 365 churches and monasteries, one for every day of the year. Now, sadly, most of them are gone, but there are some spectacular ones left. But this one has got to be the pick of the bunch. It is outrageously beautiful. Wild peacocks roam the grounds, and there are stunning views across the lake. Perfect, isn't it? Something this beautiful, doing this in such a beautiful place. I mean, it's a little bit showy-offy for me, to be honest with you. Bit of peacocking. Yeah, you. We'll make you, pal. 
Next to the monastery lies the Norm Springs and a rather unique floating restaurant. You know, I really did not know what to expect from this place. Even the food, I didn't know what I'd be eating. But look at this fresh okra trout, all these great salads. There are so many surprises around here. And be it food, be it the architecture, be it the people. I think I'm going to like it here very much. Let's throw it again. Oh, no, that does look very beautiful. And you said the food was amazing. Food was great. Yeah. Yeah, real mixture, um, really fresh fish, lots of great vegetables. Yeah. It was lovely. And now, I won't lie to you. Go on. It's a little bit behind the curve in terms of tourism facilities. Yeah. It's a bit shabby around the edges. Yeah. I just think it needs a couple of years of people going there. But that's what people like. It's like a, like a gem that you can go and find before everybody suddenly yeah, goes. Yeah, and it needs to sort out a couple of other issues there as well. Yeah. You know, the way they think about it certain parts of the world. Right, okay, They'll do that, fair enough. I'm sure, in time. Very good. Well, after the break...